Welcome to Inland Empire Alive, bringing you issues, events, and perspectives from throughout San Bernardino and Riverside counties. I'm David Brady, and on today's program, I'll welcome Judy Penman, President and CEO of the San Bernardino Area Chamber of Commerce, to talk about resources available for Inland Empire business owners. That's today on Inland Empire Alive. Joining me now to talk about the San Bernardino Area Chamber of Commerce is its president and CEO, Judy Penman. Judy, welcome back to the program. Thank you, David. It's good to be back. New set, new table, new people. It's well, wonderful. We are delighted to have you back. So let's let's start all the way back at the beginning. A lot of folks have heard the phrase Chamber of Commerce. What does a Chamber of Commerce do? Well, we do a little bit of everything, actually. And I must say, it's a great day in San Bernardino when I can talk about the San Bernardino Area Chamber of Commerce. <laughs> that is our main phrase. And we tried to get everybody to say that, but alas, they did not. So I'm always glad to say that. Our chamber takes on kind of a, a new whatever you want to call it. We greet people at the door with a smile. We answer the phone. It's a great day in San Bernardino. And we do this. We come out and we tell the world what we do. But our main purpose is to support business. We are a nonprofit, a business nonprofit. That's a 501c6, which people don't know what that is, so I'm not going to explain it. But we are a nonprofit. We are supported solely by fundraisers and by our members and that keeps us alive luckily during covid <laughs> we kept our doors open and we were very fortunate to have our longtime members still giving their paying their membership dues but we were unable to have fundraisers so we have to have those fundraisers like i said to stay alive we were able to have one of our most successful fundraisers, the Rendezvous Back to Route 66 car show, and we had over a thousand registrations of cars. Now, I'm not a car fan, but um, we, this was our ninth annual car show, and it's good for the city, it's good for the chamber, and it's good for the car people. The car people really love to show off their cars. And I sit back and I listen to them brag about their cars and it's so much fun. And, and we've had a lot of good support from that. It's um, really hard to get volunteers. But aside from that, it is our most successful fundraisers and th fundraiser and thanks to that, we did survive. And our next rendezvous back to Route 66, downtown San Bernardino, where it all began. You probably weren't around when they used to cruise East Street, were you? <laughs> uh, no. But <laughs> no, but uh, back in the day, many years ago, that's what they used to do. So that's why we say back where it all began. We will be having that our 10th annual on the first Saturday in October in 2023. Three. So the, the, the funds that are raised from events like these, how do they go to help the business community in the San Bernardino area? Actually, that one is strictly for the chamber okay. because that's the way it is. That's the facts of life. We have a law enforcement dinner, appreciation dinner that we've done for years that actually is for, again, for the community that we don't make a lot of money for because cops don't have any money. And in order to get them to our dinner, we have to give it away for nothing. So that is an appreciation dinner. And um, that's really about it. If we do something, it is for the community. And we, some of the profit that we make from the rendezvous, we give to the, um, the dis, whatever it's called, the DAV for veterans, the disabled veterans. Mm -hmm. And um, we exist to support businesses. So we have, we function. We take businesses, we don't take them, they enter the door. We don't drag them in off the streets. But they come in and they want to know how to start a business and what they have to do. So we help them in that way. We also have a, we just started this up since the governor allowed us to mingle again. We have a monthly, we used to have it weekly, but we started in slowly. We have a monthly coffee clutch, which is, meets on the third Wednesday of the month. And it invites all of our members to come in. And we have a program, and everyone introduces themselves and tells a little bit, very little, about their business. And then they can network with one, one another. 
And that has always been very, very successful. I've been with the chamber for over 30 years. I'm really very, very old. I wear a lot of makeup, so I don't show it. But um, anyway, that was a successful program for many years. We used to have 60 to 90 people in our conference room, but it's not quite that many anymore. But it's growing. And um, we used to have monthly mixers. We had one in December. And we've got a few scheduled on the books where people that can't make our 7.30 in the morning meeting can come in an evening. And that's what people want to, do, want to do mostly, is to network their business and let people know what they're doing. We have also uh, have a governmental affairs committee, and that is a very strong program. It, um, the, the committee itself looks over the legislative programs or, or um, issues that are going on in different, uh, like the state, the county, and the city locally. And they discuss them. And anything relating to business that we could either support or oppose, we take a stand on and we run it through our board. And then we decide what we're going to do about that. And we've had some real successes and not so good <laughs> su successes in that department. But it seems to be one of our most successful programs that we have. We have a governmental affairs uh, director, our program director. We also have a governmental affairs, or I mean uh, business affairs director is Larry Queel, and he sits on the planning commission of our city. And he used to own a business, a very successful business in town. And so he's a perfect person to be that, that chairperson. We, um, we have an unusual service that not all chambers have, and it's called the um, Certificate of Origin. And this is um, <laughs> businesses who want to export their product or something that they have to another country where an international business is receiving their product is required by that country's international law to have a certificate origin from a um, certified chamber of commerce. And we happen to be the, a recognized chamber mm -hmm. of commerce that does that. So we have businesses from this area that come to us and request a certificate of origin. And we've had, over the past years, well, we've had over 20 businesses that request that. And right now, we have um, different businesses coming in. And I think I can name a few of them. I don't think it's a big secret <laughs> or anything. I, they come and arrest me. I'll have to arrest you with me. But uh, <laughs> they come in. And one is, um, and I'm not musical or anything, but one is um, a famous guitar maker, manufacturer. And they, they even have a room designated to Dick Dale. Do you remember Dick Dale? Oh, yeah. Dick surf Dale? guitar. Yeah. Yeah. King I'm of, glad you did. King, You're not as old as I am. King of the surf not guitar. Not as young as you think yes. you are or whatever. Yeah. Well, well so is this region unique? In, is it its proximity to Los Angeles in terms of exporting? Is there, is there something that makes the Inland Empire unique? I'm going to keep that a secret because I don't know the answer to that. <laughs> well, you used a word. Let me go back a second. Okay. You used a word that I think is very critical, network. Yes. Um, how, you know, as, as someone who is maybe starting a new business yes. may not understand the value of that. Exactly. How much is networking you know, uh, um, a key to succeeding as a business person. Oh, it's one of the most important things you can do. I cannot stress that enough. Even if it's people that are not in your same industry, they don't sell the same oh, product. Oh, absolutely. We had a member recently. It was Stevenson's Flower. His family, they had been a member of the chamber for almost 100 years. His family started that business, and he recently sold it. And... I was hoping that, and it wasn't a family member. He didn't have family members mm -hmm. to take it on. We have, by the way, we have several family-owned businesses in San Bernardino that are close to 100 years old. Bobbitt's is one. Um, Stevenson's was one. Brill's Shoe Stores on Highland Avenue is one. But 
these people send their kids off to college and they never come back and take over the business anymore. So don't send your kids to college. It's also bad for other reasons. But anyway, that's my opinion. Doesn't mean that's right. It just means I'm opinionated. But anyway, um, the new people that took over Stevenson's Flowers, which is off of Del Rosa, just a little plug for them. Anyway, they were there not from this area at all. And I said, the most important thing you can do is network. Oh, well, we're going to send out, you know, we've got social media and we're going to do this. And I said, the main thing you can do is come to Coffee Clutch and start telling these people what you've done. And I said, face to face, you can never do better than one on one because that is the main way to get people in your door. They will trust you. They will hear what you have to say. You can send out all the notice. How notices in the world but how many times do you get a postcard or a letter in the mail that says we want to buy your house we're going to sell it for this this and this how many times do you throw that in the trash oh, right, right. so one-on-one -on -one is the best way you can network it's the best way they can look you in the eye and if you're truthful and you've got good eyes by the way <laughs> and you can make that pitch and sell somebody that way it is the best way and we've proven that in past years where businesses have come back to us especially mom and pop businesses that have said you know i i really grew my business and i did blah 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 successful because of coffee clutch and we still have mom and pop businesses coming back and and people like utility companies and other people come back just to give their pitch and tell people the update of what that utility company or that bigger business is doing just to interact with the day-to-day -day people and that is so important to let people know that you care you care about them i'm a native of san bernardino by the way i love san bernardino i i always do i've always been a volunteer i've always been involved i'm very passionate about what i do and i think god led me to the chamber to do this i feel that way passionately i also served on the school board i was elected for 10 years not year by year but over a period of time i was there for 10 years and i feel that this this city has a lot to offer and we're centrally located to valleys and peaks and whatever and the businesses here really do care and there are good businesses and then there's businesses that don't last very long but the chamber opens all businesses all kinds it doesn't matter whether you're what gender you are what race you are whatever we welcome you and we help you and we don't charge anything for that even if you're not a member we open our doors to you we're like actually like a convention of visitors bureau we we answer the call that's a great day in san bernardino one day, it, a lady called, and I happened to answer the phone, and she was working with an insurance company, and she was from Los Angeles. She was representing a lady who had broken her arm, and she was in her 70s, and she was handicapped, and she had tried to contact somebody who would come in and clean her house, and the person didn't show up, unfortunately, and I was so devastated by that. And I made arrangements anyway for a lady who cleans my house once a week. And I asked my, and the lady who cleans my house doesn't speak English very well. So my assistant, Lupi, who is wonderful and I couldn't function without her. Anyway, she went over with my housekeeper and they made arrangements and my housekeeper made arrangements to go over and clean her house. Now that's going on beyond the, that's on the Call of Duty. And, and I called this lady, her name was Carol Day. And she was so grateful. And the lady from the insurance company said, I can't believe you did that. Now, I'm no great person. I'm no saint. And I'm not saying, look at me. I'm great. That wasn't the purpose. This purpose, the purpose was this lady was in need. She lives in our city and she needed help and somebody had disappointed her. And I thought, this is what the chamber does. This is how I was raised. You reach out to others. How else is this city going to survive if we don't reach out and help one another? And I'm rambling on. So I just wanted to say that. We also, we may have to wait for another day for this, but we have a great program called San Bernardino Leadership. And we've done this now for over 20 years. And we had to close down because of COVID and nobody wanted to send their representatives out and get the bugs. So we had to close it down and we haven't picked it back up again. But we actually come here to Channel 3. We have a, um, one of our, we ha it's a 10 month program. We only accept 20 people in the class. And 
We have there. It's for people. It's not for kids. It's for people who are already established in their career and want to know more about San Bernardino. And it's to brag about San Bernardino and tell all the good things about it. And it's on the third Friday of each month. There is a fee to it. We don't do this for nothing, folks. It takes a lot of work and time. <laughs> And the first day is uh, been there, done that, and still doing it. And I have people come in and talk about their careers and they're retired and blah, blah, blah. And the second day is uh, arts and history where we tour a museum and we're on the go. We don't just sit and listen to y people yap. And then uh, we go on and we have a day in economic development where we, we really tour. We even get to go to Stater Brothers and tour their warehouse. That's a good warehouse in the city, by the way. And then we have a, a governmental affairs where we meet elected officials and we talk to people. They talk to us. You can ask questions, meet them one on one. We have an education day where we tour some schools. We tour Job Corps. We listen to Ted Alejandre, who's our superintendent of county schools, and I love him to pieces, and he's so wonderful. He comes to us wherever we happen to be and convenient with his schedule. And uh, we go to Valley College, and they feed us lunch, and we talk to the president of Valley College. And, and uh, she's always been wonderful, and now there'll be somebody else because she's the chancellor now, but the people can say, oh, I knew her when she was just the president. <laughs> And then the final day, we go to Garner Holt. I don't know if you know who Garner mm -hmm. Holt is, but we've also shipped his, given him certificate of origins. But he's a personal friend of mine, and he's very creative. And he gives us a tour of his uh, facility, and then, uh, <laughs> and then he'll sit and talk to my group for at least three hours because he'll say, and have I forgotten anything, Judy? And I said, yes, you forgot <laughs> this, this, and this, and the buckets, and all this. And, and I love him to pieces, and he's so creative. And we were very lucky to have him in San Bernardino until we couldn't find him a place to stay, and Redlands stuck him away. But uh, that's one of our very special programs, and I love it because I get to show all the neat things about San Bernardino. Well, how can people find out more about the Chamber? Is there a website where they can learn about there the benefits of membership, website, uh, yes. the events? There is a website. I suppose you want that. I, 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 not just me, the folks watching. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm sure we'll if they We'll put the address right here at the bottom. Yeah, right. Uh, well, we'll have to give that to you later, and you can put it in there, because I have no idea what it is. <laughs> no, we'll, we'll add I that in there. I don't actually look um, it up very often. But I, I guess... I think if they looked up San Bernardino Area Chamber of Commerce, they would find it. It's a pretty good website. And we will end with a pitch. If you are a business, if you are looking I for... I give you a phone number. Uh, absolutely, please do. Okay, it's 909-885-7515. And unfortunately, because times are tough and we're short of money, folks. Send money. <laughs> this is not a fundraiser. Um, we, can, we don't have our doors open on Mondays and Fridays, so we, are only, we only have people there on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. I won't give you my cell phone number, but, if it's a, <laughs> but most people know how to get a hold of me and have my cell phone number. But if it's really important, uh, not that everything isn't important, Luffy always knows how to get a hold of me. Well, great things happening at the San Bernardino Area Chamber of Commerce. Judy Penman, thank you so much. <laughs> we, will, we will be delighted to welcome you back. David, it was wonderful being here. You're such a good listener. <laughs> <laughs>